Hello Tankers! Let's start with some cool news. We would like to announce a new event that will last till August 21st, the Tanky Summer Festival. Unfortunately, summer ends soon and there are only a few weeks left to enjoy it. So we have an idea. Let's spend this time together and throw some tomatoes. Have you ever heard of La Tomatina? Held on the last Wednesday of August, streets of the Valencian town of Buño get flooded with tomato juice because each resident and guest of the city takes part in a giant tomato battle. We decided to pick up this tradition. This and next weekend there will be a special mode where you need to shoot tomatoes. Welcome the new turret that we call Tomato Boy. It was created on the basis of the Christmas snowman turret. Tomato Boy differs in that it has a more proper form and a spacious compartment for tomato shells. To make this event even more joyful, we are bringing back your favorite discounts. Today we have 30% in the shop, tomorrow in the garage, and on Sunday the same discount on upgrades and 50% of their speedups. In the shop you will also find four special offers. One of them includes the Thunder Turret with different augments for it, tank ones, units of the nuclear energy supply, and hundreds of ultra containers. For the summer festival, we prepared a super super mission that can be completed by finishing 12 special missions. You have up to two weeks to complete them. Try to finish all of them to get valuable prizes. This is the first time we're holding this event, so we would like to get as much of your feedback as possible. Tell us what you think about it in the comments below. We read all the comments even if we don't reply to them, so don't worry, your feedback is being seen. In this release, we are supplementing the list of evening maps with 35 new ones with atmospheric evening sun. After seeing the results of the Highland evening test map, we made some improvements to the lighting and made it less contrasting. Thus, you can now find summer day, summer night, winter day and summer evening themes. The next plan is to make special ambient sounds for each environment. When you enter a battle, you will hear characteristic sounds, such as the howl of a winter wind or the night's crickets chirping. In today's episode, we will answer some of the questions that you left on our social media pages. Let's get it started. Will you add the battle replays option with the spectator to watch it from different positions in the future? We do not have plans to do it. The game's architecture is built around the game's client. The game server doesn't know how the tanks are moving. It only checks the position of tanks at times. Thus, those replays will have no difference from a video captured by a player. Will you add music and remastered sounds to battles? Sometimes it's not clear by the sound if teammates picked up the flag of the opponent or the opponent picked up the flags of our teammate. We intentionally do not have plans to add music to battles. Instead, you can hear the ambient ones, the background sounds of the map's atmosphere. Adding music will only make it harder to distinguish between important battle sounds. Do you have plans to add augment blueprints so we can use them to build premium and regular augments or even augments that you can only build from blueprints? In our opinion, it is much cooler to get a whole augment from the containers instead of obtaining parts of the augment. Will you add new explosion effects for tanks? Flying parts of a tank and realistic sounds will make tank explosions look even cooler. Yes, we will add new explosion effects. That's particularly necessary since we added the jack-in-a-box effect. With better explosions, it will become the best effect in the game for the entire time of its existence. What about contracts? We have temporarily suspended the work on the contract system in favor of more important tasks. Expect them to appear in the game only after we update the shop interface. For those who do not remember what contracts are, they are essentially paid missions where the coolness of a prize to be received affects both the contract's price and number of stars needed to complete it. The steeper the prize is, the more expensive it is and the longer it will take to get it. When to expect new product kits? We won't add new product kits and the current ones are planned to be replaced with contracts. The first major tournament of the year has finally come to a close. 
We see your activity and are very happy that we have so many new teams and players in esports. The champions of the Summer Major 2022 are Diamonds. They have come a long and difficult way. Diamonds won both ranking tournaments with the highest number of rating points. This allowed them to go directly to the legend stage, where they waited for their opponents. In their first match, they met Team Pointers and lost to them with a 3-1 score. After this disappointing defeat, they pulled themselves together and won the remaining three matches without losing a round. In the champions stage, only the best eight teams of the game were left, and there was no more room for mistakes. In quarterfinals, Diamonds were victorious against Black Mirror with a score 4-0. Their next opponent in the semi-finals was the formidable team Toxic, that had no losses in Legend stage and had just won the match against future owners of the bronze paint, Red Notice. Diamonds left them no chances and managed to beat their opponents with a 4-0 victory. And down to the grand finals, where they faced off against Team Pointers, the team they'd lost to in their first match of the Legend stage. This match was supposed to be either a revenge for Diamonds or a confident victory for Team Pointers. The finals didn't start well for Diamonds, as they lost the first round, and Team Pointers seemed to be better prepared tactically. But starting from the second round, everything changed. Diamonds got their second win and equalized on Molotov, won a round on Cross, two more on Sandal, and a round on Highland. This allowed them to end the match early without playing the last map. The final score of the Grand Finals was 5-2 in favor of Diamonds. We congratulate them on this victory. Team Diamonds is the first champion of 2022, and they win a ton of cool rewards, as well as a major part of the main prize of 380,000 rubles. If you still aren't taking part in tournaments, now's the best time to start. Registration for the new Major Rankings tournament is already open. Absolutely everyone can participate. Read more on the eSports website or forum. Last Friday, we added a new feature from the distant past of Tanky Online. After being destroyed, a tank's hull now remains on ground for much longer before disappearing. This feature is controversial, but interesting. With this change, room for gameplay tactics open. Turrets with explosive or armor-piercing rounds got new opportunities to use their mechanic. The tactic of blocking your opponent with your hull is also back. The ways you can defend your flag or base are very different now. And during any shootout, you can use destroyed tanks as temporary shelters. We have discussed possible improvements that will let us get the maximum variety of gameplay with this feature. In upcoming updates, we will let Mammoth move destroyed tanks when its overdrive is activated. Maybe some other overdrives will also get this feature. We're also discussing whether to introduce special rules for a flag's base. As you know, you cannot place mines on it. Maybe it is worth to hide destroyed tanks on flags' bases as soon as possible, too. We also paid attention to your feedback that it's too difficult to distinguish a destroyed tank from a live one, especially if its turret has not been torn off. We're already working on a new tank explosion effect. Fire and smoke will soon help you understand whether a tank is destroyed or not. Parkour isn't dead. Recently, the Flying Parkourists, Team of Demons, and Academy of Parkour collaborated together to produce a cool parkour montage, each showcasing their different styles. Check out all of them and let us know which version is your favorite.
Last time, you had to guess how many seconds it would take for the wasp to reach the line of mines. The correct answer is 9. Congratulations to the winners! And here is the next question. That's all for this week. British scientists have long found out that if you subscribe to our channel and are the first to watch a new episode of the vlog, your immunity, vision, stamina, and sense of humor improve. Turn the notifications on and press the thumbs up button. See you next week. Bye.